I'm making this video because even though I did a full tutorial around how to use keywords everywhere for keyword research, um, it was a while back and there have been a lot of changes with that software now. And it's still the primary software that I use for keyword research for my YouTube videos. And I've also noticed that there are a lot of questions and a lot of confusion around the free versus the paid version of keywords everywhere. So I want to show you what version you should be using and also show you that it is actually more valuable and it's actually cheaper than you think. So are you ready? Hey go getter, it's Salma Jafri, and on this channel, I'm gonna show you how to grow your visibility, credibility, and profitability with YouTube. So if that's something you wanna do, then be sure to hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon, and let's begin. So the first question is also the most popular question, which is how credits work on keywords everywhere. And what does it even mean to have credits and how does that work to get you search volume? Okay, so let's go to the computer. And the first thing I wanna show you is that it says, at, if you go to keywords everywhere, it says that one credit is equal to one keyword and that credits expire after one year. So what does that mean? And if you just scroll down, actually let's go to their FAQ section and let me read from there. If you go to this section called metrics and credits and then scroll down here, it says that on websites such as YouTube, Amazon, etc., where you enter only a single keyword and see the search volume under the search bar, only one credit will be used. But on Google, where you enter a query and then there are widgets on the sites, you see related keywords, you, you see keywords under people also ask. So in that case, more keyword credits will be used. So that is what that means. Now, coming back to their pricing, $10 takes you actually really, really far. And that is the recommended amount that I think you should start with. I don't think the free version is going to be all that valuable. I do think investing a small amount of $10 is a great value for money. And during the course of this video, I'm going to show you how far that $10 can actually really take you. But let's start off with, you get a hundred thousand worth of credits. That means you can actually perform search queries equal to a hundred thousand keywords, which is more than enough for more people. So to put that into perspective, let's say I'm a power user. I do keyword research literally every single day. And also I don't just do it for my channel. I also do it for all of my clients channels. So if you look at my usage and let's go into the last month, so May. So you'll see that I used a total amount of 15,140 searches. So these are the total searches that I used. And so that means that I have only used uh, less than a quarter in one month, right? So if you apply the same um, amount, so let's say I do searches of between 15,000 to 20,000 credits I'm using every single month. That still means that that $10 will take me about five to six months to use up. You, if you are an individual and you have an individual channel, you're not going to be doing nearly that amount of keyword research. The only scenario in which I can see you doing more keyword research is if you run an SEO agency, perhaps, or if you are doing research for a lot of your clients, which I am. So this next section, I'm going to cover how to do keyword research and what are the metrics that Keywords Everywhere gives you, how to uh, read that data and how to make informed decisions about the kinds of videos that you should be creating with those particular metrics. I'm going to use my client's channel as an example. So this is... Uh, my client's channel, Kenny and Joanne, and they make raw vegan food videos. And this is one of their videos made four months ago. It's called Unboxing the Ninja Foodie Blender versus Vitamix. And this is a video that has 9,200 views. And this is a well-performing video for their channel made just a few months ago. Now, I want to show you that when you type in Ninja Foodie Blender inside YouTube, you will get 
couple of things here, but the most important ones that I want you to look at are search volume and trends data. Now you will only be able to get this information if you are on the paid plan of keywords everywhere. So if you have paid that $10, then you're going to be able to see these metrics. Okay. Now, what do these metrics tell us? So first of all, you can see that the term Ninja Foodie Blender has a search volume of 14,800 searches per month. That means 14,800 people are searching for it every month. So it is a highly searched for term. The most important thing for you to look at at this stage is trends data. So trends data is going to tell you the future value of that video that you are going to be creating, right? So you can see the trends data here. So if I hover over this, you can see that um, the search volume really, really went up in December 2020, partly because of the pandemic. A lot of people were buying and cooking, um, were buying equipment so that they could cook at home because restaurants were limited, dine-ins were pretty much shut down, right? So you can see that the trends data kind of shows you when search terms became popular. And you can also see that when they became popular, that's when videos started to do really, really well. So you can see here that in December 2020, this particular search term had search volume of 49,500 versus May right now, it has a search volume of 12,100. And you can also see that in the graph displayed here as well, as well as the graph displayed over here on the right hand side as well. Okay, so you have a visual depiction of how this particular search term is performing. Now, when my client made this video, it was four months ago, which means it was around January, February. And that is a time when this term had a lot of growth, right? So you can see that they got a lot of views because the search term had a lot of growth. So if we look on the right hand side of this search bar, let's go into um, the most used tags and let's look at search volumes, but also let's look at search trends. Okay. So we're looking at the graphs. Now I can see here that for example, the, the trend for Ninja Foodie Blender has gone down a bit. You can see that it peaked in December, January, and then it sort of now has gone down a bit. So, you know, if you make a video titled Ninja Foodie Blender today, it may not do as well as it would have done a few months ago. So what can you make a video about that is related that would still do well today, right? So if I scroll down here, I can see that this is a search term that is gaining traction, smoothie bowl. At first glance, what does that have to do with the Ninja Foodie Blender? But then I realize, oh, hang on, summer is coming. A lot of people want to create smoothies in summer. So it makes sense that this search term would be trending. I may not have realized that if I didn't have the data to show me. And so when you have the data, you can sort of tie in the data with other things you might know about that search term, right? And if I hover on this, then I can see that in the summer months, this term typically goes a little bit higher. So you can see June 74, July 60, April 90. So it starts to trend around April, May, June. And so those are typical summer months when summer is starting, people want to experiment with summer recipes. So if you were to create, if my, my client were to create a video, Kenny, are you listening? <laughs> if they were to create a video about how to do a smoothie bowl recipe using the Ninja Foodie Blender, that would be a term that would perform well in the summer. And so that is the value of keywords everywhere and seeing this data and reading it to make decisions about what future content to create. Okay, now let's look at what kind of video metrics you can see on your channel and also on your competitors channels and on their videos to see how hard a keyword term would be to rank for. So uh, keywords everywhere, when you install the extension, it's a, it's a Chrome extension as well as I think a Firefox extension, 
It gives you a couple of things. It shows you the ranking difficulty. So it shows you the search insights. So you can see that the ranking difficulty for this term uh, Ninja Foodie Blender is 42 out of 100. So the higher the number is, the more difficult that term is to rank for. And the lower that number is, the easier that term is to rank for. So that is your takeaway from Keywords Everywhere with the ranking difficulty factor. All right, now let's come to my most favorite feature and the one I'm most excited to share with you because this has been a game changer for me and also how I teach YouTube strategy. So Keywords Everywhere has an extension called SEO Minion and it takes use, it makes use of a feature in Google called People Also Ask, which if you've been following my live trainings and my videos, you would know that I love this feature because it does the heavy lifting for you in coming up with ideas that are actually going to perform really well on your YouTube videos. Now, Google's People Also Ask feature is this section over here where if you type in, so now I'm in Google, I'm out of YouTube, okay? I'm in Google and I typed in live stream software for YouTube. And then it says, people also ask these questions about live streaming. Now, to, in order to get more questions, you have to keep clicking this and then it shows you more questions, which can get a bit tedious. This is where SEO Minion comes in. So the SEO Minion is also a browser extension by Keywords Everywhere. Okay, and let me find it. So it's right here. This is the icon for it. And what it does is that it shows you 200 clicks of the people also as feature. So it performs those clicks for you, automates them, and then you can download this data into an Excel file, a CSV file, right? So I did this for live stream software for YouTube. So let me open up the Excel file. And what you're looking at here is 500 content ideas for a playlist or an entire channel around live streaming. So let's say if I were to form a channel all about live streaming on YouTube, I have 500 content ideas ready to go. These are not just random ideas. These are ideas that people have searched Google for and the data has been populated. So there are lots of searches happening on these ideas. And so if I look at, just go down this list, what is the software that supports YouTube live streaming? Do I need streaming software for YouTube live? What app is best for live streaming? Um, do I need Elgato to stream? So many questions, right? So this is great for somebody who is looking to start a channel and get some basic ideas going. And remember that the deeper you go into a topic, the faster it is for YouTube to recognize you as a subject matter expert. And the faster it is for YouTube to find like-minded audiences to show your videos to. So I think this is a goldmine strategy. And I go into detail about this particular strategy and how to use Google's People Also Ask feature in a brand new live training that I have put together, which I will link to at the end of this video, but also inside the description. So be sure to go and watch that free live training on how to generate content ideas and how to use this feature to grow your channel, launch your channel, and to get uh, attract your ideal audience. Before we go any further, let me announce this week's viewer of the week. And it is Curries with Bumby. Thank you so much for being here and for sharing how my channel has helped your channel grow. I definitely appreciate you. If you would like to be featured as viewer of the week, make sure you leave a valuable comment on this video about how my content has helped your YouTube journey. And now back to our video. Okay, so one of the things that I like about the people running keywords everywhere is that they are constantly adding new features. So for example, SEO Minion was a fairly new feature that they just added. Another new feature, which I literally just saw a few days before is Instagram hashtags. So let's head on over to Instagram. So this is my Instagram page. And if you look on the right hand corner here, it says generate hashtags. Now this is showing up because I have keywords everywhere installed and because I'm a paying customer. So if you want to use keywords everywhere to generate hashtags for Instagram, you're going to, you want to go here and click on generate hashtags and then go ahead and type in, let's say I'm going to type in video marketing and say generate Instagram hashtags. 
And then it's going to generate all of these hashtags for me. It's going to tell me how many Instagram posts exist with this hashtag. So for example, video marketing for business has 17,331 Instagram posts. Search volume is a healthy 390. And you know you can see all of this and you can see whether it's a trending hashtag or not. So for example, in this example, video marketing digital is a trending hashtag. So you could use this service to find Instagram hashtags and not only that, but to find trending Instagram hashtags. If you want to grow your Instagram account along with your YouTube channel, then again, this is a great tool to use. So my advice to you, if you're thinking about using keywords everywhere, is to go for the $10 plan to start off with. Get those 100,000 credits. They're going to last you. They're going to expire at the end of the year and they're going to last you for the entire year. So just spending that minimal you know, amount for the value that you're getting in terms of search volume, in terms of trends data, in terms of content generation, in terms of people also ask, I think that's immense value for a small price. Remember to go and watch my free training on how to launch and grow your YouTube channel. Even if you are not sure how to generate content ideas, even if you don't have a well-defined niche, and I'll show you exactly how to start and how to grow inside my free training, which I'll link to in the description below. And after you are done watching this video and that training, then come back here and watch this playlist on how to do keyword research, or actually how I do keyword research on YouTube. I'll see you in the next one.